Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video we have successfully added the crosshair and we can switch between third person and aim camera. Now we want to apply damage to some object for now because we don't have the enemy so we will apply damage to some object okay for example that bus right there or oh, I think it's a truck actually okay so let me move this player a little bit closer to the truck okay so that we see it correctly when we start the game now we will just give damage to this object for now okay and then in the uh, future videos we will add the enemies and then we will add an enemy script and in that enemy script we will then apply damage to the enemy which will be assigned that enemy script okay but for now let's just do it for this object so what we will do right here in the scripts we will create a c-sharp script by the name of object or there you can say objects because you can apply this objects script to whatever object you want okay and then simply open this so right here we don't need these two functions we just need a public float by the name of object health and this will be equals to 100f then after this we also need a function that will damage our object and we will call this function from our rifle script okay whenever we hit the object because we need to call it from another class so that's why we will make this public and let's name this as object hit damage and then inside this round brackets we want to give our function an argument and as you know that an argument is a way to feed data into a function in our case we want to be able to specify a uh, some amount of damage so we will create a float variable and let's just call this amount and in here we will uh, equal the object health to minus equals to amount and then after this we will say that if the object health is less than or equals to 0f then what we want to do we want to simply destroy that object so right here we will destroy that object for that we need to create another function and let's name this function as die or you can name this whatever you want inside this function we will say destroy and we will destroy the game object make this g small and then right here we will call that type function so guys as you know we created the object script and we completed it but now nothing will happen if we try to shoot there are two reasons we didn't apply this object script to an object and the second one which is the most important one is that we are not passing the amount to this object script and then to this object hit damage function we are not passing the amount from anywhere so for that of course we hit the target with our rifle so from the rifle we will pass a certain amount of damage to this function and then that amount let's just say if that amount is for example 10 so 100 minus 10 then it is equals to 90 so then the object health will be 90 and if it gets uh, the amount 20 then 
the object health will be 80 so it will work like this and as you know our rifle give a damage of 10 f okay right here inside this shoot function you will type object i think the script name is objects as you can see right here public class objects okay so objects and let's name this as objects as well and let's get the transform of this object and then we will say dot get component and in here we will say objects then down below we will say if we found that object okay so if the object is not equals to null it means that if we find that object somewhere in the environment then what we want to do we will simply say objects dot what is the function name okay it is object hit damage so we will say dot object hit damage and then we will say give damage of we will pass this give damage of okay which is basically this variable the rifle variable the rifle give a damage of 10 F, okay or you can say units so now it will give this object the amount 10 and that 10 will be then decreased from the object health so then the health will be 90 and when we hit that object again then its health will be 80 then 70 60 and like that it will just decrease and then as you know it becomes zero or less than zero then that object will simply get destroyed okay so we type this okay now we can just simply save this and go inside unity now click on this object right here we will assign this object script as you can see the object health is 100 and we have the object script assigned now the game okay remove that maximize on play because we want to see the object health right here okay so for example now if we hit the ground as you can see it says object 071 now if we try to hit this object as you can see now its health is decreasing as you can see now it is 60 now if we hit it again it's 50 40 30 10 and now the object is destroyed so it means that our shooting functionality is working and guys let's just uh, type the code for logging this cursor to the screen when we play the game so for that in the clear script if we scroll up to this start right here we will type cursor dot log state and this will be equals to cursor log mode dot locked okay now get back to unity and now if you play the game as you know now the cursor is now locked to the screen as you can see when we try to hit the truck as you can see the truck is now just gone so this is it for this video